nuclear fusion nuclear fusion the process in which two nuclei of light elements like that of hydrogen combined to form a heavy nucleus like that of helium is called nuclear fusion the conditions needed for carrying out nuclear fusion process are millions of degrees of temperature and millions of pascals of pressure let us understand this with the nuclear fusion of deuterium when deuterium atoms heavy hydrogen atoms of mass number 2 are heated to an extremely high temperature under extremely high pressure then two deuterium nuclei combine together to form a heavy nucleus of helium and a neutron is emitted a tremendous amount of energy is liberated in this fusion reaction a fusion process is just the opposite of fission process the energy produced in nuclear fusion reaction is however much more than that produced in nuclear fission reaction and has not been controlled so far hydrogen bomb the hydrogen bomb consists of heavy isotopes of hydrogen called deuterium 2h and tritium 3h along with an element lithium 6 6li the detonation or explosion of hydrogen bomb is done by using an atom bomb based on the fission of uranium 235 or plutonium 239 Hydrogen bomb is based on the thermonuclear fusion reactions of heavy hydrogen atoms like deuterium and tritium to produce helium atoms at very high temperature the source of sun's energy the sun which gives us heat and light derives its energy from the fusion of hydrogen nuclei into helium nuclei which is going on inside it all the time the main nuclear fusion reaction taking place in the sun which releases a tremendous amount of energy is the fusion of four hydrogen atom nuclei to form a bigger nucleus of helium atom the total energy produced by the fusion of hydrogen into helium is tremendous and is released in the form of heat and light it is this energy which makes the sun shine and give us heat and light This nuclear fusion reactions of hydrogen are the source of sun's energy.